Hi, this is just going to be a, a quick tutorial. I uh, just want to show you guys how to um, get uh, sound functionality on the uh, keypads, on the CNX keypads for a deep reprobe. Uh, this is helpful if you're using um, uh, Ethernet uh, intersystems communication files. Um, just a quick note, uh, I am using a virtual box, so uh, you'll see the two different start buttons there, and I'll kind of flip back and forth, but uh, don't let that bother you. Okay, so here in a D3 Pro, um, we're just going to kind of go into the programming view here, and uh, just scroll down, and I started programming something, and this is kind of when I realized I needed to do this, but um, standard uh, programming here, uh, I just want to come down and select a keypad, and uh, Typically, with the uh, regular Crestron database install, um, there is no sound functionality. As you can see here, when I do my drop-down button, you know, all we have is just a couple of options there. Um, so that's not very helpful. What we really need is the uh, sound functionality. So uh, I'm going to kind of run through with you guys and uh, show you how to do that. And uh, the first thing that um, that we really need to do is uh, open up the uh, Crestron database and uh, and just make a quick edit. Um, there is one part here which I'll show you in a second that uh, that you'll probably have to email me for, but um, we'll just go ahead and open up this Crestron database and find your install. Typically, if you do the um, typical install, it's a C drive, Crestron, and a Crest DB. So I open it up. It's going to ask you for a password. Here is a password you'll have to email me for that. I don't want to put that on uh, here on YouTube. Um, kind of have to crack that password just a little bit, but uh, so we'll open this up. And what we're looking for here is a wizard interfaces. So we'll come down and we're going to find wizard interfaces. Open that up. And uh, the keypads again is what we're interested in here. And uh, basically what we're what we're doing is just telling the database what file to look at. Um, Crestron's allowed for this uh, for a template for these keypads, but they just don't make it available in the database. So we're just going to make that quick edit here. Um, we're just going to scroll over and. Um, so interfaces FC extender CMX B series, and we just want to change this to version 1.1. And um, there is no need to uh, to save it um, as soon as you uh, exit out of exit out of the database, um, it will uh, save it for you. So we're just going to close this up. And uh, real quick, just to kind of show you that that it does save it, we'll open it right back up. scroll down find the wizard interfaces again and where is my keypad okay uh, so as we can see uh, version 1.1 is still there so when you do exit it does save it so no need to, uh, to worry about that um, all right, I have to uh, change a couple things. Oh, after you um, after you save the database um, or close the database, if D3 Pro is open, um, you will have to close D3 Pro and then open it back up. Um, I just got to get a couple things ready, and I'll be right back and uh, continue um, continue showing how this works. Okay, uh, I am back. So what we want to do is uh, go ahead and open up uh, D3 Pro. couple seconds to find it here. I'm just going to open up an existing project uh, that I've been working on and, and what I actually needed this for. Okay, so once you have D3 Pro open, uh, we're just going to go back into the programming view. And um, I am Uh, just going to select the keypad that we are at. Um, when we select our command now, uh, you can see that play sounds now there. So the version 1.1 is the file that we want. Um, and uh, so any digital press, if you're using uh, InterSystems Communication, any digital press that comes in, you can program that to a play a sound on your keypads. Or if you want to use some relays um, off the processor, uh, feel free to do it. Hope this helps you guys. Take care.